SR22G3 Turbo, and this is how you go through it. First of all, you go over to the bezel here, click on this, expand it, click on any one of these, click on the fuel done, go over this way. You can see our flight plan here, close this down, open this up. What you want to do is set your heading bug so that it goes towards the direction you're intending to fly. So I'm going to move it down here to right, whoops, right there. We're going to close that and we're going to open that back up because I want to do the altitude. Click it twice and we're going to go up to 34,000 feet. I'm going to set the vertical speed indicator in terms of how fast we're going to climb. We're going to scroll down here and we are going to hit enter for both of these and that will open them up. That will be preparing them. And then what I want to do is put in the approach. So we select enter I'm going to select the Duluth Approach 27, Enter, Vectors, Load, and that's it. And then what I'm going to do is put in the ILS frequency, which I know is 108.7. And I'll go up like that. So I think we're pretty much set for takeoff. What we're going to do here is I'm going to pause. Okay, here we go. And drop our flaps to 50% and away we go. Little right rudder here to keep us centered. right when we turn the autopilot on our plane now should move in the direction of the indicated course and we should be doing fine I'm going to make this a little bit larger to see if that works should have taken off in the other direction, but that's not the direction the wind was going. So let's see if it does work like it's supposed to work. The magenta line indicates that this is the active direction that we're going in. And it should level out here pretty soon and move forward in that direction. You can adjust range with this, so you can see your entire flight plan, and so on. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go up here since we seem to be on path, and I'm going to increase the speed. And now for purposes of dem demonstration, here you can see we're 
we're navigating and we're using GPS. You can see us moving up towards our 4,000 feet. Slowing down here at 3,600. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move down here and over. And I'm going to go, instead of on that rather long, circuitous path, get up to Duluth. What I'm going to do is this. So I'm going to go down here to procedures. I'm going to scroll down one to activate approach. I'm going to hit enter. Now if we scroll back up here, you'll see we are now on a direct course to our fix, which is the beginning our descent into KDLH. So what I want to do now, I'm at 4,000 feet. I know that I need to intercept the glide slope at below 3,200 feet, so I need to be prepared for that. I'm also going rather fast at 193 knots, so I'm going to adjust the throttle as I prepare here. So let's bring us down to 3,100 feet as we're going over the lake here, over Lake Superior. Actually, let's make it 3,000. We're going to drop our speed at quite rapidly, 900 feet per minute. Then you have to go down here to go like so. See is bringing us down now. <clears throat> you can see here our range. We're 28 nautical miles away from our fix. We're on a direct course. Flying at still at about 180 some knots, which is too fast. But this is just to demonstrate how to set this up, so I'm going to slow that down some more. We're still going four times speed. So that we could do this for setup purposes. Seems that we've got a little problem here with our throttle being held constant. Let's see where we are. Are we close to where we need to be? 3,000 feet. I know the glide slope is at 3,200. Okay, let's check now. Our localizer is 108.7. Let's just do one last check on that. 108.7. Nav 1, we need to turn that on so that we are hearing where we are. Procedures here. We're all set. Okay. Picking up the identifier. Which is a good thing. It's always good to hear the identifier. Those that you're on track. Gonna slow the simulation rate down here fairly soon to just normal.
just to be precise, should be at 270, which is the final vector. Rapidly coming up on this, we're at probably going too fast. I'm going to bring the manifold pressure back. We're at 53 knots. It's probably still too much. Manifold pressure is. Um, eight. Okay, we have now crossed in the final. So, what I need to do is nav. Approach, alt, nav, approach, alt. And you can see we got approach, glide slope. You can see the plane is beginning to descend. You can see that right here. It's coming down. Here's ILS. We're a little bit to the right of center. We're dropping. I need to manage now the speed of the plane. I do not believe we have autopilot or auto throttle on this setup. I'm going to start slowing it down as I recall that the landing speed is 85 to 90 knots depending on what you have for your flap position. So I'm going to be beginning to slow it down here. We're on the right glide path. You can see that we're a little bit high still so slow us down here. Still a little high. Drop our flaps, which probably isn't appropriate given our speed. Reminds me that we should be going slower when we begin the approach. We're still high. We're beginning to drop now. Our flaps are at 50. Okay, our speed has dropped to 112. You can see we have one light. We're still a little high. I'm going to give it a little speed here because we want to come in and around 85 to 90 knots, or 80 to 85 knots. A little fast, slow it down a little bit more. And we're at 92 knots, still high. Should drop down nicely though as we come in here. Oh, I'm going to cut the engine. See how we do here. Probably are going to start to sink fairly quickly here. Here we go. I'm going to turn the autopilot off so we have a nice smooth landing. 